what to do. It's your boy Northwest Wiley, Suru, Seattle's West City Music Media. You know what it is. It ain't no pop quiz. I'm with my nigga, let me let me let him introduce himself because he goes by a few great names. For sure, for sure. You already know, man. It's your boy Young Wayne, man. Definitely, man. They call me Young Weez, Thoroughbred. Thorough, a thoroughbred for sure. AKA Young Diesel. Why, why they call you? Why they call you Weez? Where'd you get Weez uh, from? So Weezy, man. When I was young, man. My brother, right? I used to have asthma. You know, my brother used to talk. For real? Yeah, I grew out of that though. So a nigga's ready though. You still got the nigga, asthma pump? No, no. None of okay. that. Man, I had it, but you know what I'm saying? It was just a, I don't know, the doctor tried to come up with that, you know, theory, tried to say a nigga may have asthma or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they tried to tell me I had diabetes a few years ago after they did some blood tests on me because I, I had like not. a cut on my hand and got back. They were like, they came, they were like, you got, you got diabetes. I was like, what? Right. They came back, they was like, so, an hour later, they're like, sorry, that was the wrong test. You don't got diabetes for an hour. Right. I had diabetes. Out of so. so, yeah, definitely that, man. My brothers and my auntie made fun of that. Then what happened, another thing that happened, Lil Wayne, I'm sure y'all have seen him come to the game. My brother, when he seen that dude on the TV and was seeing the way that he was projecting the, the image that I was out here doing, right. he kind of he kind of looked over and was like, "That's him, right. young, fast, ready to get you know to the paper and handle his business and be was out there." No limit. Play. Was that the No Limit era, like uh, when the, um, they came out? Um, it was Cash Money Low. Because remember when No Limit came out? Remember when the rags was deep, all the definitely. soldier rags? Around that shit. time, it was definitely around that time a little bit. Like, you know, I was I was out there before they came even into the mainstream of things. So when when yeah, they dropped sure. their, their their things, I was already 13, already pushing and, and, and doing things like that. So I got that kind of just from my brother being who he was. And, then, you know, me following my brother, you know, or looking into my older brother, you kind of take what your older brother give you because, you know, that's just like, a that's, black, a that, that's what you want, that's you know, a that's right, a look right. from your brother. So that was that. But... Diesel came out just pushing and going and really having a, you know what I'm saying? They seen how I had to really push hard like a Mack truck and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. make my way, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, without yeah. no, no I say. I always sense that, before, even before I met you and shit, I, I, you know, when I, before, I, before I met you and I would see you around and shit, you always had a serious look on your face and shit like that. Right. So I was like, damn, I hope I think it's still gay because he's yeah. a big nigga. I was like, yeah. I don't want to hit you with this big ass nigga. This nigga don't always look like you always here. You always, right. I could tell you was always on point with the right. shit with you. Um, so, um, y'all asked me um, about that Yester Terrace life, man. It's a thoroughbred from the Yester Terrace. Um, he took some time out his day. Um, he's a busy man. He got his barber shop. What's the name of the barber shop? Uh, this right here is Fadeaway Cuts. We on the Magic School Bus, and we going. Up. I like that. I like Definitely. that. Definitely. Um, um, can they reach you on um, Instagram? Definitely or? check out the Instagram. It's at Fadeaway. It's Fade underscore Away Cuts. Check me out. Hit me up, man. And I might be in a you know area near you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bet that. Bet that. He, he can damn near get close to you and move around because wow. yeah yeah Hello. for sure so um we right next to yester terrace right now um yeah. a lot has changed um from the gentrification and everything mm -hmm. when you first heard of gentrification when did you first start hearing about it, it was, I, I told like i said in another video when i first heard of it bro it was written on a, a new condo that they were building and you, you know somebody wrote gentrification on it i came home and asked one of my family what is gentrification what does it mean mm -hmm. and then when i they told me i was like oh that ain't nothing it ain't gonna affect us but when i as it over time you know they started building more in the early 2000s then i started feeling the impact and now we feel the impact when did you first start like hearing about gentrification with the terrorists? Did it was they telling you guys way back? Uh, I remember. I mean, the Yes or Terrace has been from the beginning of time. It's always been multicultural. You know what I mean? Very if you look it up, we're like the first. I want to say, I, maybe don't quote me, but we're like the first, if, if not the second, to have the first interracial type of setting going on in the For project sure. setting. Um, sure. A lot so, of Africans, a lot of, lot of Asians, a lot of, yeah. you know, Jamaican, did, did you always whatever. get along with the, those families? Did all that the blacks in it, um, or was there like that? I think we did, man. It was kind of like more or less, you know, I think we all understood a struggle, man. Just yeah, kind of where, yeah. you know, we just to with, you know, my, 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 you know, my, my click is called Boss. Boss, boss crew. And this means so That's what y'all was asking about, Boss crew. What, what does that mean? Definitely. I, 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 I got you. Brothers of the same struggle. Me and Chush, and I always admired you know, that name. Definitely. Brothers so, of the same struggle. Brothers of the same struggle, man. So that right there, you know, when it when it hit me and it, it, it you know, it came to me, it, it resonated with me because, you know, we all got 
struggles. We all come from, you know what I'm saying, whether it's broken homes, um, yeah, yeah. whether it's just not being accepted from at home. Right. You, you know what I mean? So we all come from that. And it's yeah. actually a positive. It's, yeah, it's a positive, you know what I mean? Definitely. Uh, it, 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 that too, you're right about that. It, 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 it's positive it's meaning. Positive, it's a positive it's meaning. The you outcome of it. And I believe definitely. in energy and what we put out, even definitely. like our own you know, names and shit like definitely. that. Like, you know what I mean? So you're right about that. I, 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 I believe that thoroughly and shit like that. So, um, um, so w when it came to like, Okay, you got people got uh, a, a legend is from the terrace, like Emperor P. When it came to music, um, I always heard like Deuce Five. Well, where the sets in the terrace? Like, right. What was Deuce Five? What was, so, was, was am I correct about that? Like, I ain't got listen. I you know what I mean. What what it is with me is it's it's always you know real recognized real. Um, right. Right. About two five T. That actually that actually isn't anything to do with the Yes or Terrace per se. You see what I'm saying? Like, Emperor P definitely was a, uh, was a good one. You know, we, we see him in the street. He knew what he was. Right. Um, I hope you guys never really, I maybe met him maybe once or twice. I knew he was Lee Marijuana's cousin, right? Right. You know, I remember Lee? Definitely, okay. all of them. Was I he really just with Emperor P? I think he maybe was from some up there. All, they're all from a, another section out there. Believe it okay. or not, we already, because we didn't understand, because he was rapping too. So when yeah, we yeah, had, yeah, they had, they had a rapid second. thing going. Yeah, yeah. So when, but when people were like, "Yo, they saying the terrace," and it was kind of like, you know, we we know who the who, who this who, you know what I'm saying? Right, we right. ain't got to do a who the who call, but we right, can. Right. But it's like, we were like, "Yo, hold up, hold up," because the sound you saying is, you got to make sure you clarify what you're speaking about. You know what I mean? Was because, he part of Boss Crew? Nah, you know, it repeated hadn't even been that. You know, so but we, no no diss on him, no none no, of that, no, of course, none no, of that. Of course. You know what I mean? Did no you say two five? The two, two five C or the two five three or did you say two two, two five? They were they were two five T or two five, two five T. T or something. What was the T for? Some terrace or oh, two five? Terrace? I don't know. I think I, I think there was out there in Mont Lake or something. No. Really? Or, or, or something like that. I'm, if, if you know what I mean, because but Boss Crew originated in the Yester Terrace. In the Yester Terrace. In the what, what would you say around what year if you could recall? You, know, you don't got the exact. Um, but. Man, I was the first generation of it, baby. Yeah, my uh, there was one gen ahead of me. Um, one gen ahead of you, okay. So I wanna go ahead and say shit, that shit was about man, it was like 92, 93. I was like nine, I was young, man, throwing it up. Like yeah. when when it first hit us and we first, you know what I'm saying, adopted that and many and we just, you know what I'm saying, we we knew what it was, so we was gonna rep it off and we gonna hold it down. So it was it was just like a when one, once I heard the acronym and, uh, and figured it all out what yeah, the meaning yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. I took to it well because I, I was like oh we're Liddy then I'm I'm definitely gonna right. be riding that out you know the terrace is the terrace it's it's ten hundred gang you know what I mean like and that's where I'm from you know that's 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 my movement my movement is ten hundred it's just it's right, just yeah. genuine it's just grand it's all grand hustle oh, it's man, just a real thing like that what, what's 10 what, what's nigga, we got another oh, yeah we got another yes sir we got another yes sir terrence uh uh yeah, we right here we're doing a little interview real fast you know how to get in here what's good introduce yourself what's sad is that buddy you know the game that funny what's it do where you from where you from i'm from the terrence we're ball school they should already know that so we do so we do we do an interview on the ball school real quick I got you, I got you. What y'all doing? So, uh, the man right here came out at me, so we, we over here popping these peas, crossing uh, yeah. these teas, and dying so, these so, out. So, when it came to, when you say the 1000 is, is is that actually a blade, a block, that is or the something? Block. That's the block. Hell yeah, that's the blade. That's, that's the block. That's, that's everything, nigga. Exactly, that's everything. Here, yeah. my man's right here, man. Yeah, it's like, everything. where was the 1000 block? That's our that's shit. That's it, right. man. You know that, right. man. Same. So, yeah, that's definitely that, man. It's definitely YTP. It's definitely, it's in the heart. It's in the heart of the neighborhood. It's 1000 Avenue. It's also grand. It's also got its own meaning, grand. That's my other acronym for it. So that understands, people understand. It's just meaning that, you know, people say they're keeping it a hundred. I'm like, you man, know, you know that hundred, right. everybody saying that hundred. That shit, that shit don't even be a hundred, yeah, man. So if that's a hundred, we, we ten hundred yeah, over here. We right. ten times that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we ten that. times that. We gonna keep it ten like times realer than that shit because I seen niggas who keep it a hundred. You know what? Like that. You know what's funny is growing up up the hill in a way the terrace and up the hill the CD we we we're damn near a family like That's see. Cool. But w what I liked about the terrace was the terrace would be from a youngster that the, the, the older homies and niggas up there would be like well the terrace some niggas up there don't claim it as a district but we had to respect that 
but uh -huh. niggas never would talk down on the territory like right. that because they respect how thick y'all right. was and right. how y'all stood y'all ground and shit right. like right. that. Right. Did a lot of homies from the terrace not consider themselves the district or no. would, would it just be I feel like, you know, the terrace? Yeah, I feel like to answer that, you know, I feel like, I think like, man, in any, any, any clique, you got those who are inner clickers. Right. And then you got those who are, you know, go-getters and, 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 you know what I'm saying, trendsetters and people who go make, you know what I'm saying, go pave the pavement and then make statements and then get the game out there yeah. and they time bridges, you get me? Right. So, but the inner hood niggas wasn't really, you know, because they in the hood all day. Yeah. All they yeah. do is hood. Right, right. They don't really want to go out the hood because, nigga, when we go out the hood, there's certain times, nigga, because in them times, you know, it was going up, you right, know? So right. niggas was always off that. Right. So you always had to get down. So if a nigga got some type of whatever in the way out, whatever way he was, it wasn't home, right. he took a different approach to that. He didn't like it. He didn't want to accept that as being because he right. felt he shouldn't have got treated like that, which I is see. understandable. You know what I I'm see. saying? I see. But all in all, you know, we all, you know, tight knits around here, man, as far as like, you know, the real ones, man, because the real recognize the real, so the real. that's just inevitable. Was it always, was it always a red team? Was it always blood? Was it, was it, and, and, and am I correct with that? Was Boss who considered blood? Oh, or, or? It, it, it's, Boss, I don't want that to be like, nah, because it's not really, it's not a gang thing. It's not really a gang thing, you I know what I'm saying? That, for but, sure. But, you know, there are those who are going through the game, man, and, and, and they rub shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Affiliated the way yeah, I and see And get affiliated. Like yeah, and then, kind of there break, you go. Yeah. Then you know when they can get into a situation where it's politics. Right. That gonna change it, because you gonna have to go sit down where the, the politics is at. You know what I mean? Wherever yeah. your section is, because that's where you from. Right. You right. know what I mean? So, right. I always got the vibe and the energy, though, that they always looked up to you. Really between me and you, not even between me and you. That really kind of you was kind of like the head of this whole shit when it came. But I know that Terrace was just a family, so it wasn't about wow. someone being a leader over here, a leader wow. like that. But wow. I know I never took respect to you. You know what I mean? And never really respected this shit. For sure. Um, um, was you um, rest in peace, Sheree? Right? Right. Um, that's my was bro. You, that's what you, you was really close to. You was really close to Drake. Right. Jojo was close to Jojo yeah. like a motherfucker was too. My brothers, were they man. both Love off too? Man. Were they, were, were we here, man. We, we keeping it lit for them. Always, always. Uh, uh, Jojo and uh, Sheree, man, were some unique brothers, man. Definitely Sheree, that. man, was cold motherfucker too, Real man. Niggas, man. Real niggas, man. Real niggas. Definitely um, that. Um, how old was we? Oh, Sheree. 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 Uh, he's probably like, man, my nigga, he left us probably, he was like, shit, nigga, 30. Oh, nigga. 34, and Jojo was around probably the same age from a year ago. My little nigga, Gojo was a hell of a young. He was like 27, cute. maybe. He was 20 something like that, man. Yeah. He ain't hit the 30 block. Okay, okay. Even though he was small and skinny, you know, and shit like me, he did. He, he, he went on to CCA with him, and he would try to bully him and shit like He would not go for it. He had a heart. He had heart. Lion heart. He had a lion heart. Lion heart, and man. And he was, he was African, right? Yeah, he, he was definitely he, he that. African. He was African. What was uh, Ethiopian, right? Uh, actually, Eritrean. Eritrean. Yes, sir. Was there more uh, Samoans or Ethiopians or Eritreans in the territory? We had a mixture. There would be, you know, Eritreans, Ethiopians, and, you know, Somalians. You know what I mean? So, like, we wouldn't, at first, it was hard to really tell which one was which one. You just knew yeah, they were yeah, African. Yeah. But, I, I, then I they start to saying, they yeah, they start talking about their tribe. Skin, yeah, they was talking about it, and then you yeah. get to listen, and you're like, oh, okay, okay. That, yeah, yeah. I didn't know like that, but they be off that, so yeah. definitely that. Have yeah. you met a lot of South and African Hell yeah. Because I have too, but they be a little bit more feistier than some of the CD Africans. And I, when I was right. talking to CD Africans, they would at times not, um, they'd be like, well, I don't really, you know, um, um, either they wouldn't know them or they would just, cause you know the, the CD Africans over here shit, they were kind of family orientated. A lot right. of them really wouldn't really bang unless they were like kind of from the terrace and shit right. like that. But that's another story. Um, you know what I mean? I tell stories about, you know, um, the um, Somalian uh, Africans out in the South and they'd be with the shit, but you know, they could be with the trouble. The Somalians could be hot headed with it and shit Definitely. like that. You know what I mean? But we grew up with them, you know what I mean? And that was a beautiful thing being able to grow up, you know, with Africans. And I felt like a lot of the African Americans, cause you see in these times nowadays, Right. How are the African Americans, us, have this division with Africans? You, you ever see sometimes the older OGs or some being, uh, being out in the city or some on the bus, some, you know, you now you see African Americans, older brothers telling Africans go back to your home or the, the other way around. You know, Africans are looking down, um, down on the African Americans. And I would always say it's because 
the, yeah, the older generations of the Ethiopian parents when they first came out here, you know, when I have these debates with, you know, some of the um, homies and homegirls and shit, they say, well, they don't like us, they don't love us. Well, the, the parents, the older generations that came from Africa, they didn't really understand the culture. They thought their kids hang out with us, they get in trouble yeah. until, um, they started realizing they get treated like niggas too, yeah. and they were really just you know we we all we, you know was all the same in a way the way we you know got together and mingled and right. everybody flaved and shit. Right. Um, but um, for sure, I think to answer that to say I mean you know they they all take to you know what a brother a struggle is man they you know they, they, that they, brother they, of the right. same struggle shit so like struggle. you know what I mean I get it. And yeah, yeah, they yeah. seen our struggle, they know our shit was real. They know we the first ones that had to, you know, push a line to really have to get what was, you know, right, what we wanted. Right, right. Without, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't no family member who got a loan from somewhere who who owns a business, who can give you money, who can open the door for you to work, right. who can do all of these type of things like that. We didn't have the same resources. Right, right. So we, you know, I, I remember when there was a point in time where they didn't even want to hang, they couldn't even hang around us. And that was probably because the parents. The parents was like, no, 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 hell no. Hell no. Huh? So, yeah, man. But That's why you know, now I see them. Yeah, they yeah, out and about, and, and I'm like, hey, ways. you know, it is what it is. It's going to be different, I think, with the generation that we grew up with, with the kids as they started hanging out with us. Their right. kids are going to understand, you know, African American yeah. more. And I think it's a need for us as African Americans and the Africans for us to unite and learn from each other. And really, you know, it's the same culture. And you know what I mean? Man, they and create the divide for a reason. They you know that? created for a it's, fucking it, reason. And that's just so that we don't get strong in numbers or we don't yeah. see the eye to eye. We don't build each other up. They, right. There's too many niggas out here, as you can tell, want to build a nigga down. They don't want to build a nigga up. You, no, you know no, what I mean? No, they don't want to build a nigga. See, I always been that like that. You know what I mean? That hater shit. Yeah. I was that's talking about that last time in the video when it comes to music, like, um, I would have the money to um to do a video. A motherfucker wouldn't want to always have an excuse to not give a nigga a video. The own homie who makes beats to shoot and put your life on the line can't right. give you a beat. Okay, shit like that. It's like it's always this thing in Seattle where it's like, well, you know, I don't want you to get ahead of me. You'll I'm that. worried that like it shouldn't right. be like but that. But that it should not. It's a that's an ugly mentality, man, and it's sickening. Like it's a disease. It's a so, disease. You know what I mean? It's just you know what I mean, like. You just don't let yourself, you know, stay socially distanced to yeah, that shit. You yeah, hear me? Yeah. Like, and that's what I do, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen it, I've been through it, but you know, like, I had to go through it because it was too much of that funny shit. Right, and I kind of right. felt like it just needed to get addressed because I was like, before I allow, you know what I mean, the next man to, you know, play with me. Right. Or to think that it won't come back, nigga, 10 times harder than what you think you're dealing. Right. Then, you know what I'm saying? And, nigga, you know what I mean? Like, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm a man like you a man, you know right, what I mean? Right. So. That's the first and foremost. So and foremost. it's just it's just now, you know what I mean? Like I wish we did take to each other well and we did, you know, right. uh build each other up and, and look into like how you said you would like to throw a video, and niggas can't come in to get to the shoot, or niggas can't give you a beat. Right. Or niggas want and you know, I got my own business, I see niggas clearly, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't that cause I don't even get off did on you that. Deal with that in the barber business that you deal yeah. with the black with Hell the black yeah. unit uh, so it wasn't yeah, about man. the support, it was Listen. something you had to do it on your own work. You seen yes, like sir. okay, you seen that yes, sir. be quick to rather see you fail as I or you yes, know what, sir. I can provide them with some good information, but you know what, go find it on your own. <laughs> hey, hell yeah, like that's a definitely, man, I got it, I had to get it out the mud, but it was like, you know, for me, man, I came from out the mud. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So to, to go back to that point and, and then get it in, it, it was a blessing for me now because where I'm at and what, you know, the knowledge of what I, uh, you know, I obtained going through, you know, barber school and getting myself together because, you know, you know, I used to be heavy in the game and doing sure. other things, sure. you know what I mean? But to get right, to understand where you want to be in life and to understand that, you know, where they want you to be in life. Right. And you got to you gotta separate the two. You got to right. divide the, mother, the two, you know what I'm saying? You got to divide the motherfucking two and then you got to make sure, nigga, you go for your dues, you know what I mean? And stay away from the don'ts. Right. You see what I mean? The same shit ain't gonna get you different results. No. You know what I mean? Right, right. It's and just not. Be, if for some reason, it should be like a basic law and people don't understand that and those they do and they get the same results. And 
Right. We ain't trying to be in that cycle, and I no. see you change that cycle. No. You know what I mean? Of, no. of maneuvering and you know being right. one of the few entrepreneurs right now doing your thing. Right. So I salute that, especially you, coming from the territory. You know, that's that's inspirational. Looking, that's I inspirational. appreciate you for coming in. Put me on, you know, I came up in here, man. With, I mean, I'm here for you, you know what yeah, I mean? I'm yeah. on your time now, you man, know? Man, um, like I said, I told you I was going to give you all that, uh, um, that terrace, man, and this is coming from a thoroughbred. I got a couple more questions I want to ask you. Um, BG Boo? Yes, sir. Okay, now and I told him I didn't want to ask him anything. Cause my nigga thoroughbred from this shit, he can tell you a million stories. But out of respect with him, I didn't want him to go too in depth with anything he didn't want to feel uncomfortable about because a lot of this shit's serious. BG Boo um, was from the terrace? He is from the tier. He is from the tier. Definitely. Was he a blood? BG Boo is, you know, we, I mean, you can say now, a lot of us men take to the, you know, been affiliated with blood so long, right. and did more things with, you know, some bloods than we did with cuz, right. you know what I mean? Right. So it, it is what it is, and that's why. So yeah, you know, it, 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 he can get a flaming, he get a little bit flaming, you know, okay. but he chill for okay. real, you know? Okay, what about um, growing up, um, um, you know, and um, as we got older, I, I, made a, I made a video about how it's, it, it's interesting if you think about the division and the beef that we came about in, let's say, Seattle between the Crips and the Bloods and everything. Right. It, in a way, it was a California beef because they came up here and right. they divided us. All that. Right. Because that ain't our shit. That ain't our shit. That's ain't not that our crazy thing about that right. shit? Right. We're um, real players, real, you know players, what I mean, right. Boston, you yeah. know what I mean, real. You know what I mean? Real dudes, stand up individuals, man. We're from a different, you know, we're right. from a different section. We got sections. You know what I mean? Right. So right. we got different things like Central, South End. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got sections in between those sections. You know what right. I mean? That, right. Like communities within the community. And there you have it. And they're all communities. And there you have it. And the terrace so, was yeah. a very big, I think one of the biggest projects in what, yeah, exactly. the Exactly, definitely one of the biggest area. projects, yeah. When you, growing up, when you would say, I'm from the terrace, if you're out in the south or anything, right. and this is a real nigga, so, you know, he, he, he wouldn't have, it, it, the way I look at it, he wouldn't have issues with someone unless someone fucks with him, because he don't fuck with, you know, he, he ain't the type of nigga to bother people, but right. growing up, say before, I was just an innocent kid, and just right. people Coming going up. to different schools, where, where you from, uh, Seattle, but where you from, right. Central no, you yeah. know, they're like, hold on, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Was it like that man, with the terrace? Man. Like, like was yeah. it like, like where that fit, you know? Yeah. It, was, it was like that, man. Like yeah. for the terrace, yeah. you know, that bullshit. We get all of that, man. I think that was, a, that was just a point in time where it was more, it was Super Seattle at that time. Yeah, you Super see Seattle, what I mean? right, Super right, Seattle, right. man. And, and I feel like at that point in time, like, you would catch a drift hopping on the bus. Right. Hopping on just because you knew, like, say for instance, nigga, you gotta hit the yeah, bitch, you know where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. I'm, in the, I'm in, the cuffs, in the cuffs from the catching a CD bus or a South End bus. Right, right. How you we can get into it on them seven, either or. Them and three then, exactly. So, right. so you hop on that seven, man, you know, oh, in the South End, you know, you was gonna catch, you might catch somebody who was ready to test something or wanted right, to have some right. fun on you at night because you know you you catching a late night hype. Right. You know right. what I mean? On a late night hype. It was like that. It, it was, was like buses that. Was Fucking nah, right. I had to fuck with them seven. Seven, hell yeah, hit the south. Nigga, cause they had niggas dipped out. After yeah, they yeah, but the three fours were the top two though. Niggas didn't want to have the three fours. They Come on, you know I'm top. And then you hit the deep CD, are you yeah, in the damn south? Yeah. Then. So you know that that was that. And so hell yeah. yeah it, it, it was be, like that. Okay, it was funky sometimes. It was funky sometimes. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Hell okay, yeah. a couple more. Um um what um um elementary and uh high school did you go to? So, man, man, I'm going to tell y'all now, man, <laughs> a nigga didn't even hit high school, man. Yeah, I, mean, I barely and, hit high school, too. I left in junior even, year, so. And, and listen, man, I don't want nobody who's watching this to feel like, listen, that's just cool. Cause fact. We, we, we laughed I, about it, but we, I, I we knew what he was going to say. We advertise it. We want growth and development. We, right, and we're not facts. saying that the, their, their, their school system is all the education you got to take. But right. just get it so you can play their game, because what you're going to realize is in the life they you gotta play chess and they're playing games too. Right. So you gotta learn how to play your your game. You gotta learn how to you know what I'm saying move and counter move and and, and do that type of do and then figure out what you want to do right. and then keep it moving. Right. You get me? Right. I just learned watching an interview from Nipsey Hussle. I keep saying this because I was always extremely impatient when I was younger. Probably a lot of us can relate to it. At 18, I was like, damn, I gotta be rich by 21. By 21, I was like, I'm running out of time. This and the third. So.
also I learned this thing, um, uh, Nipsey talked about it to help calm my spirit down. It's okay to have a five year goal plan, a right. 10 year goal plan, right. you know what I mean? Um, 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 you can change your life around in a year, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, so I see that you took, you took, um, upon your start, to start your journey in this, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's, um, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it ain't been easy, but it's been fun. Hell no, nah, but... man. I went through it, man. I, You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga been through hell, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wouldn't tell you one. I was, Call man. from Danielle underscore Lulu Alamos. You know, my man, you know how it is, busy guy. But yeah, yeah, yeah so definitely, man. I went through hell to get a little piece of heaven, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be handed to you. It's gonna be handed to you. Man. It's gonna be it's handed gonna be to you. Off, Hell man. yeah! It's gonna it's gonna give you. It's gonna see your testament in time. Yeah. Are you built? Are you built to last? Or what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna crumble you at gonna the crumble, first right. sight of this block, right. this roadblock? Because it's a road. You know, as you go, people want to put up blocks. They gonna put up. You know, blocks. because they see you doing constructively doing something different. Yeah, so you say something that and they know you're on the way, on the rise. Right. When you're when you're in tune and you're in tune with yourself, and you know what I mean. Like I had to go through a situation out here, and you know what I'm saying. I, I don't, you know, I don't be saying it just to say it, but a nigga went through some shit with these punk ass police, and, right. I'm, and you know what I mean. And it's being real, and, and it's real, it's documented and all. And you know what I mean. He lied, taught, you know, saying I'm at a place that I never was. Right. I, we talk about for, them fake corrupt yeah, police. Straight up, them corrupt Ooh, ass yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to, to any Definitely good is. cops that, that that really protect right. the citizen they right. Get they that's got all love. Here. But them corrupt yeah. cops, you them know, guys. he's speaking on that shit. That and part. it did happen to us, and it took a lot that of good part. men down, a lot of Hell brothers yeah. down. And, and it been going on. This shit didn't just start with me. I just happened to go through it. And when I went through it, I realized. I said, Yo. This shit ain't cool. This is where they want they want niggas, real niggas to be. And they'll mm -hmm. sit you there and put you there just on their own strength and play dirt right. ball. And play dirt and ball. dirt ball you. So dirt now ball. you gotta come back. Nigga, I had to do every bit of my time. Nigga, right. five I did whole five come back, nigga, but with you all did the, the hell fucking year. And and the whole time, you know, what was on my mind was, you know, I knew what I wanted to do different. I knew what I wanted to come back out to do yeah. if I had one more chance to right. really get out okay. and, and to make a stand, you know right. what I mean? Right. And to really be a man about yourself and say, you know, what, what is it that you want to do that's really going to be, you know what I'm saying, constructively, constructively looked upon to where right. someone can say you did that. Right, right. Most of the bitch was in one place. Hell no, nah. you know, they ship a nigga here, there, walla walla. What was the hardest? Mother, what was the the, hardest? Hey, I mean, it, them, yeah, yeah, right, you know, it, it's just what it is, man, politics. Walla Walla, most politics. Right, you know politics. that, you know yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. probably the, you know, you know that right, gonna be right. what it Did is. Did you see a lot of terrorist niggas, uh, niggas from the uh, There was a couple of them when I, went, when I first fell down and shit, man, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like, that was, you know, that's how you know, you know, that's when you really get a full, real deal look at what politics really is, a, you know what I'm saying, how you right. really gotta be, because you right. know, structure happens there. Yeah, structure happens there. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Okay, okay, almost done, almost done here. Appreciate my brother's time, man. You're a hard uh, working man. Uh, facts, um, I wanted to see um, EAP, and they keep asking me about EAP. Oh, did yeah. it start in the terrace, or did EAP, it, um, yeah, yeah, them brothers, man, them brothers, man. East African they Posse. from the brothers of the same struggle, man. They like, yeah. they, they kid to us, man, so, yeah. you know, they took to us well. So, definitely EAP, give big shout outs, man. Do you remember the, the old, the OG, basically the one that was kind of, um, that was, you know, he was, he MG? was plug, um, and he was like, kind of, in a way, they're kind of like the leader MG of them. MG and um, all them? Um, yeah. Mufarm, so oh. he, um, he, it was a, he had a name, he was like, a, he was like, like the plug at one point, he was an older cat, they had took him down. They said Lynn Capone used to bodyguard him and shit like that. Um, 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 uh, older, yeah. Cool. Livio on him? No, um, he was, he, uh, okay, uh, okay, um, Livio, Livio from Terrace. Yeah. Shout out to Livio. Yep. Um, and who's his, who was his brother? It was his brother. Livio's brother. They got his name. Showing up. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But it was Livio's Definitely. brother. Okay. I ain't seen Livio in a minute. You seen him? I haven't seen him in a while. Okay, okay. Not since I've been okay. out. But the EAP kind of coexisted with the ball school. Cool yeah, because like they came that. here, for, they landed in our section, man, and they was, you watching, you know, niggas been moving and they was liking the movements and then yeah. they went man and did a huddle yeah. and they was like yo we gonna make this happen man, man. we man, here man, man. And i you love know? seeing y'all niggas group up link up you yeah, know what i mean and i used to have to come down the hill just 
to, 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 to mingle with y'all, just to show you, but surely, because couldn't anybody just come through these parts. Right. So I would just come through, like I, with you, when I started, right. you know, and I was yeah. like, well, I want to meet, brother, you know what I mean? Right. You see, you right. have a strong, you know, presence, and I was able to do that, and ever since then, you was a thoroughbred with me, man. What's up, you know man? You keep it the same, man. That's no, no, power. definitely. That's a power. Um, say your um, barbershop one more time. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Y'all check me out, man. Fade away cuts, man. We going up. Fade away Magic cuts. School bus, man. He's Coming doing this shit on his own, man. You. And I my love guy, that shit. man, Magic check out his bus. interviews. This right yeah. here, man, is exclusively exclusive. Exclusive. You know what exclusive. It Y'all kept asking me for that boss crew life. This that real boss crew life. He got some customers pulling up, so he gonna have those business. It's my nigga getting your name one more time. Young Wayne, man. Young, Young Wayne. And, um, and, and Instagram? Yes, sir. You know Fade as fade underscore away cuts. Okay. Check me out. Bet that y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy yeah, Northwest you Wally. Seattle's yeah, West okay. City What's Music up, Media. Homie? One love. Appreciate What's y'all tuning in. Like and subscribe. Um, um, What's up with it? There you have it, man. Boss True Love, man. Um, my boy Weezy, official thoroughbred. We're going to bring some more, man. West City Music Media. Like. Push that like button for me. Subscribe. Fuck with your boy. One love. No mean much shoulder shrugs. Northwest Wally. Bet that. No setbacks.